Hey, what's going on guys? This is Still Rain and welcome back to the channel. And today I'm going to be showing you how to anodize with electricity the titanium cage for the rooster. So a few things you guys are going to need before we get started. I'll go ahead and get into it. Find yourself a real deep dish kind of Tupperware plastic bowl. Go ahead and line it like I did with aluminum foil here. Before you even do that though, make sure you have some isopropyl alcohol. You're going to need this to clean off the part. You don't want any sort of fingerprints, oils, anything on it, otherwise it could mess up the uh, anodized finish. So make sure that's really clean, free of all sort of fingerprints, any of that sort of stuff. And that's pretty easy to do. Now what I did here, as you can see this rig, I'm basically going to be anodizing this with two 4S batteries. And they're going to be set in series. So each one of these batteries, its cells are sitting at 3.75 volts times 8 equals 30 volts. So what I'll go ahead and do is I'll flash a picture up on the screen here and you'll see the anodizing color really depends on the voltage you apply to it. So I'm going to be doing around 30 volts to get kind of that purplish blue look to it. So what you need to do, and you could also do this with alligator clips, I just went ahead and made a series. So basically two batteries are going to be in series times 8, eight cells at 3.75 volts is 30 volts. So you know pretty easy there. You're also going to need some borax. You could either use borax, uh, baking soda, or you could use Comet Cleaner. So go ahead and one of those is going to be around your house so you'll be able to find that pretty easy. Uh, you could also use instead of batteries if you have a power supply you could also use that but since I don't have one I'm going to be using that. So what we're going to go ahead and do is what you do here is so for the borax what you go ahead and do is add about a tablespoon's worth go ahead and dump that in there go ahead and add some water I mean it doesn't have to be exact but a tablespoon pretty good pretty good measure go ahead and dump some water in there get a little bit more now the reason why you want this to be a real deep container is because you don't want that part hitting the side. It's going to cause an immediate short in your battery. So what we'll go ahead and do, now that we've added the water, it's kind of stirred around a bit. And we'll be back in a few minutes once that's done kind of absorbing a bit and settles down. Alright guys, now that we're back, I've got my two batteries connected here putting out 30 volts right now and of course this is in series so it's from positive on this battery to negative on this battery then you'll take the negative from the first battery and attach it like you see right here to the aluminum foil and the positive is going to go to your part now you want to be really careful what you do here guys you do not want to touch the sides with the metal or anything it could cause sparks possible damage to your batteries and all that so here we go we're going to go ahead and Throw the part in and see how it does. It's instantly starting to change colors to the purple. Don't want to touch the sides here, guys. I'm kind of shaking right now because I really do not want to touch the sides here. As you can see right now, the color's coming out kind of bluish. Go ahead and put it in there a little bit longer. Should have made these wires a little bit longer. There we go, guys. See, it's kind of got that blue, blue hue to it, which is exactly what I wanted, kind of that bluish purple hint. So you guys go ahead and see what you decide. I'll go ahead and do a side-by-side -side here in a minute. All right, guys, as you can see here, finished product. It's got kind of a bluish purplish hue to it. It's kind of hard to see under the light. You see the extreme difference. And what's good about this process is if you put too much voltage into it, you could always just buff this out because this is just the outer kind of oxidized layer. This will buff out to look just like this again if you want to change the color. You definitely do not want to do this sort of anodizing with heat because it affects the properties and the metal and it also voids your our matte and warranty. But as you can see, really kind of hard to see under the light unless I get it just right. 
but it turned out real nice. No smudges, no, not anything. So what I'm going to go ahead and do now is get to this piece. And uh, if you guys want to, you know, change your color at all, just go ahead and look at the chart again or look it up yourself, anodizing titanium. And you guys can find out exactly, you know, what will be the best for you because you could get, get yellow uh, pretty much almost any color. You could also get near black if you add enough batteries and series and voltage and things like that. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, learned something. Please subscribe, like, and share. And as always, please leave any questions, comments, or suggestions down in the normal place below. I'll see you guys next time.